Okay. So it's just a short review and then the, then we'll be nearly we'll be finished. So uh long-term causes of the war, sectionalism, slavery, westward expansion, the states' rights controversy, and okay. then the breakdown of the Missouri Compromise that resulted in it being up to the people, popular sovereignty. Uh, when Lincoln's elected, southern states secede. Uh, that secession, that argument turns into war with the giant bees at Fort Sumter because Fort Sumter is your ex-husband living on your couch. It's a United States military base in confederate territory and then when lincoln starts arming the base that's your ex-husband bringing his girlfriend over to your couch um and that's when the giant bees come out that's when the giant bees come out the consequences the consequences of the civil war um what's up Mm -hmm. she said you and i can hang on a second um i'm free Ooh, everyone. very briefly the long term the consequences of the civil war well the union is saved slavery abolished that's big Ooh, yes uh, great loss of life and property. That's not big. And the central federal government is strengthened. The South was always arguing for a smaller central government and more rights for the states. States should make more of their own decisions. We don't need the federal government coming in. And one of the things we said yesterday is honest people can have different opinions on the relative strength of the federal government and the states. Behind the argument of states' rights, though, and behind any claims that the Confederate heritage is a noble lost cause, a just cause in any way, that it's about heritage, not hatred, would whatever your neighbors say to justify the rebel flag that they hang and that they have every legal right to hang, this is the reality of life in the United States of America before the Civil War. Okay. To be sold on Thursday, the third day of August next, a cargo of 94 prime healthy Negroes consisting of 39 men, 15 boys, 24 women, and 16 girls just arrived. None of them signed up for that. Are those what marks? And on this fella, this formerly enslaved fella, yes. That is a lifetime of being whipped, a lifetime of being treated as, as, as less than a dog. So when the argument is made, when the argument is made, the Civil War was all about states' rights. We can differ on the relative place of the federal government and the states. But anytime someone says that, you repeat after me states right to what because there is nothing good true or beautiful about slavery anytime any place the human person is not an object to be bought sold and discarded when your neighbor hangs a flag Inverted. this is where the red in that flag comes from.